The artist I chose was Susan Valadon. She was an artist of her own style and individuality. Her treatment of the female nude was reinvented to a certain degree with her touch of sincerity. Her nude work started around 1892 and only progressed as time went on. A huge benefactor to her work was a marriage agreement that provided her with a luxury house, giving her full creative freedom. With money no longer being an issue and her child being taken care of, she was able to put all her focus into her art. This is just a quick visual of her house. When it comes to her artwork, I think it is important to note how the war didn't have an effect on the emotions portrayed in her paintings. More than 7 million men left to fight while the majority of women stayed behind. Once the troops returned, so did the interest in art. A handful of artists started where they left off in cubism while others developed a new art style. Among these artists was Valadon, whose art was incredibly vibrant. With her being a woman, she was not sent to war, but instead stayed inside the comfort of her homeland. You can see this with her artwork, Nudes. It was created only a year after the World War I ended. In this painting, the two women are shown relaxing outside without a care in the world. While a handful of artists, especially those who came back from war, changed to a darker color palette or would paint graphic scenes. A prominent trait seen in the art industry of France was the male contributions. Not many women were validated for their art and the man's perspective was dominating. A popular trend of painting nude women took place. Valadon did not entertain such artworks and believed that women should be shown as an honest version of themselves. In the reclining nude, you can see how the woman is focusing on a hat and manages to cover her breast. Even the way her legs are crossed is a more reserved manner. Despite being naked, she does not push for male attention but simply lives for herself. Art education in France is something that a majority of young artists indulge in that helped pro propagate their knowledge in this field. Numerous artists such as Pablo Picasso had gone to school for the arts. Valadon, however, was not raised in the same manner and never had a proper art education. She taught herself to draw at the age of nine. Because of this, she is more free-minded with her artwork and does not follow the social norms. In her painting, The Fortune Teller, she displays a nude woman having her fortune read. The gypsy reading her fortune is used to take away from sexualization. The way she themes her art is different from those who learned in an art school. The last piece of hers I wanted to include was casting the net. She does not have as much of a focus in painting men, so I thought it would be nice to show. It is also one of many unique artworks she has created that has no boundaries. Another artist from this time was the Mendo, who had multiple nude artworks. The biggest similarities was the interest in the naked woman figure. His, however, were more pro provocative by showing a pubic hair and having the woman displayed in a sexualized pose. His intention was to attract a male audience. As you can see, all the women are very curvy and voluptuous. And for most of his paintings, the women keep a strong eye contact with the audience. Overall, Valadon was a very gifted artist whose symbolic and post-impressionalist work showed true woman beauty and creativity. She took her art into her own hands, created masterpieces that pushed into new boundaries and never confined within a tradition.
and that will conclude my presentation.